to another pick card reading. Um, today's reading is what do you need to do? What do you need to do? What should you do right now based on your current situation? Okay, so um, <clears throat> let's get started. So I didn't pull any cards yet. We will choose cards from this deck. So thank you universe for giving us the messages for the greatest and the highest good of all. Group one. Group two, group three, group four. Okay, we have four groups today. Now choose your group, use your intuition, do not overthink it. Um, you can find the corresponding timestamp in the comment section. Personal reading information is down below in the description box. I will see you in your group. Hello, group one. Welcome to your reading. So let's see which card you get here. You have Ace of Cups. Okay, you need to start over and you need to move on. Uh, for the Ace of Cups, also I feel you need to look at your whole situation from the perspective of love. Uh, you need to use your heart at this moment instead of your mind. There's something you need to acknowledge with uh, more kindness. I just feel there's a lot of love surrounding you or there will be a lot of love rushing into your life. Um, I feel you need to be prepared for something new. And this is talking about moving on as well. Somehow I just feel there is a moving on energy with the Ace of Cups. I don't know if there's new love coming into your life. So uh, the universe anyway wants you to be prepared to receive love and to give love uh, i'm going to pull one more card to see what's it about for group one um what do you need to what do you need to do what do you need to do and why you need to do it we have seven of cups okay okay so um let me see here we have seven of cups for you group one i think you will receive at least a help or guidance or kindness from other people good intentions from other people and it's interesting seven of cups normally it's talking about confusion it's talking about confusion and here you have ace of cups so it makes me wonder that if right now is a good time for you to actually focus on one thing choose among the things you you have because um i think you have a lot like you have a lot of options you are you're not lacking of choices you have a lot of options and choices with the seven of cups this is for sure but with the ace of cups i feel right now you actually need to focus you need to pick a lane this is what we've uh, talked about at the beginning of this reading you need to move on right but before you're moving on i feel you need to make a priority for yourself you have a lot to choose from, but somehow you need to make a prior priority for yourself. You need to figure out which do you desire the most. Because with the Ace of Cups, this is talking about making a decision based on your feelings, based on your intuition, based on your heart, not based on your mind, not based on your thinking. So maybe it's time to ask yourself, what do you desire the most currently? And follow your heart. And I feel somehow the cards are telling you at the current stage, you can only um, focus on one thing if you want to achieve something if you want your life to be better somehow you can only focus on one thing do not be greedy somehow 
So I feel this is about that. So for those who are having a lot of anxiety, because seven is also talking about anxiety, for those who are having a lot of anxiety, this is because you want too much right now. You want too much. You need to slow yourself down and you need to pick the one that you feel, this is the most important to me right now. This is what I need to work on the most. Pick that. I think you will be fine. But this is all the cups energy. So you don't lack of love. You don't lack of good intentions. I feel there's a lot of um, good energies surrounding you overall. There's a lot of good energies surrounding you. People wanting to help you. Um, I think because you are generous. People somehow, I feel people in your life are having really good intentions towards you so you are at actually at a very good place in your life group one so if you want something to be better this is what we've been discussing but overall in general i feel you don't miss anything you don't lack of anything all you need to do is to focus and i feel um you need to move on with your actions also because seven of cups is talking about uh, losing losing oneself in illusions in imaginations so with the ace of cup i feel you need to take some action you need to make something happen instead of dreaming about it um if this is talking about um you have like a crush you have someone you're interested in uh, I feel this is talking about do not think about too much. Just contact this person. Tell them how you feel. See how it goes. You need to have physical activities to ground yourself. You lack of grounding here. So this is group one. Okay. I hope you like this message. Um, thank you so much, group one. And uh, Comment, like, share, subscribe. If you need a personal reading, you can find the information down below in the description box. Now I'm moving on to um, group two. Hi, group two. Welcome to your reading. Let's see the card you get here. Oh, you have two swords. So very clear. You need to think about it. You need to think twice. I don't know what you're thinking. The advice here is you need to think twice. Let me pull one more card before... Um, let me pull one more card for group two. Okay, so I feel you're making a major decision that probably will affect your life uh, in a really huge way, like relocation or changing a job or going somewhere else or going on a travel, um, going on a trip. With the Nine of Cups, I get this is a big contrast of these energies so i wonder if you are really really tired of the current situation and you just want to run away and also i wonder if you feel the knight of cups like the current situation is really what you don't want um and you have a vision for yourself you think you you deserve something better and it's not where at where you are um and you want to look for something new. I really feel there is an energy of like, this is uh, this is not going anywhere. And instead of changing the current situation, I just want to run away. I just want to start something new. However, it's very interesting um, because I, I really don't feel this is... I have a new feeling of this card, like Knight of Cups. I really don't feel this is telling you to... Mm, right away start something new i feel somehow you need to look at the current situation from a more long-term perspective group two um i don't know why i just feel this is talking about do not make decisions based on current feelings this is very different from group one because group one is exactly based on your decision on your heart but this is the opposite for you because right now use your logic 
you shouldn't follow not saying you shouldn't follow your heart but you shouldn't let your feelings overwhelm you at the current moment because it's not stable it's not stable i feel group two you're feeling a lot of things lately you're feeling a lot of maybe you have a lot of mood swings you have a lot of ups and downs your feelings are not trustworthy at this current moment this is normal so this is very normal you're experiencing some energetic shifts uh that's for sure but right now you're still having this um shifts so it's not a good time to make any major decision because you want to let these waves settle down before you can make a major decision because i feel you are wanting to make some major decision um suddenly i have this message like give yourself two months time give yourself two months time or at least two weeks time so for any of you who wants to make a rush decision this is telling you to take a pause you need to use your logic especially you need to reason with yourself you need to like you need to weigh options weigh your options you need to uh, suddenly i'm seeing justice card i i feel you need to be really really just you need to be really detached detached from um emotions detached from uh things that could affect you potentially and see things from above like see things from a third party or third person's eyes um this could help you okay see things from a bigger perspective see things from a bigger view because you want to think of a long term i just saw 11 11 on the screen so you want to think of things from a bigger picture and from a long term i feel if you rush into any decision making right now you might get into trap of short like short sightseeing like you're not seeing long-term, short-term thinking. So um, this might be something you'll regret later. So in order to avoid that, the cards are telling you maybe give it a thought, think twice, okay? So this is your message, group two. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if it resonates. Um, anyway, I'm really glad to help. So I hope you like this message. If you want a personal reading, you can find the information down below in the description box. I will see you next time. Bye. Hello, group three. Welcome to your reading. So let's see which card you get here. Well, you have death. Okay. It's time to end something. It's time to acknowledge something isn't working. It's time to clean as well. It's very interesting uh, death sometimes doesn't mean this thing will break this thing will break down it just means there's there's some maintenance that's necessary there's some um polishing that's necessary there's maybe some deep cleaning a uh, deep cleansing uh or rejuvenating that's involved so do not be afraid of the death card that this doesn't mean like if you're asking a relationship this doesn't mean i'm going to break up um, but I'll pull one more card to see what's it about. But this card definitely is telling you something isn't working. You need to change. It's time to change. If you're not changing, you're just wasting your time, wasting your energy. You're not going anywhere. So the death card is telling you to make a quick decision. No dragging, no pro procrastinating anymore. Okay. I'm so glad today's energy is all different um and with the death card somehow i just feel you shouldn't have mercy right now it's not the time to be soft heart soft hearted it's not the time to be soft okay uh, not only towards other people or the current situation but also towards yourself i feel this is a time that requires you of more discipline okay more willpower more discipline more 
um, decisiveness, determined, discernment. Um, I feel really you need to have this gumption and to say yes or no, and then quickly just take according of uh, um take according actions. So that card is definitely talking about you need to make a decision right now. No wishy washy anymore. Okay. Um, yeah, just have no mercy on yourself as well. Look at the current situation as it is. Do not leave any imagination. Okay. Also, yeah, I get this message is you need to look at the current situation as it is. Do not any extra rose color glasses uh, filters do not filter the current situation do not add project your imagination on it do not beautify it do not romanticize it just accept and look just look at the current situation as it is there's definitely something that's not making you happy and that's that definitely needs to change Okay, you need to deal with it. I feel it's not a time to run away. It's a time to confront. It's definitely a time to confront something. Um, and you need to accept the current situation as it is. Um, okay, so maybe this is talking about surrender as well. Something has ended. You need to accept it as it is. But let's put one more card for group three. Thank you, universe. For group three. Okay, this card wants to come out. Okay, we have, okay, Ace of Cups. You see, you have to, I feel this, whatever that was ended, um, it could be a relationship. Some of you just broke up. Whatever that was happened was because it was making space for this new thing that wants to come in. Okay, I thought it was you making some kind of decision um, I feel this group, for some of you, you need to actively end something. Like I was saying, like, no wishy-washy. You need to have your willpower to cut something or to change something and take action to start something new. But with the Ace of Cups energy, I'm feeling uh, generally, it's like you can feel this vibe in the air for you currently. Like lately, you just feel a lot of things ended. This is somehow like the universe is pushing you forward you can feel this energy even though you're making these decisions for yourself you're doing this on purpose but somehow you can feel it. this is the vibe in the air it's like it's time it's not time to do a deep cleansing it's time to say goodbye to the past it's time to say goodbye to some people uh, it's time to say goodbye to a lot of things it's because you are going to embark in embark on this new journey of life. Ace of Cups is something that's that's really, really much better than what you had before, right? Um, because the death is a really heavy card and with the Ace of Cups, I feel there's a lot of emotional fulfillment. You will feel so happy, so content. So I wonder if group three, you're latching on to something that that was hurting you. You know that was hurting you. You know that was harming you. Or it, it didn't give you what you want. It was consuming you. But you didn't want to let go. Because you know you're afraid. Um, but with the Ace of Cups. I feel what's coming is. Much closer to what you want. To what you need. To what you deserve. You will feel really happy. Like really happy. Not you have to lie to yourself. Saying I'm happy. Now, tra tricking yourself into believing you're happy because I felt this is something you probably experienced before. With this, you have to put a lot of um, extra things that extra imagination, delusion to trick yourself into believing this is better. But I feel with the Ace of Cups, this is truly better. This is truly better. Something truly better wants to come in. Uh, with the Ace of Cups, I feel... Um, yeah, this is the new, your new life, you, this new energy, just totally new energy. And I feel whoever or whatever that was cleansed by you or that was automatically cleansed by the universe out of your life was to make space for this new energy to come. 
Um, but bravo group three and also congratulations. I feel you will actually be um, rewarded of the universe. And uh, you can come back one month after today when you watch this reading because I feel uh, one month, something will happen. This is a one month time. So one month later, you can come back, remind yourself of how you felt or how you feel right now. Because one month later, everything will be different. Something will change. And you wouldn't imagine, you wouldn't imagine it from right now. But one month time, give yourself one month time, okay? Group three. This is your reading. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Comment, like, share, subscribe. And personal reading information is down below in the description box. I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, group four, welcome to your reading. Let's see which card you get here. You have king of wands. Okay. You need to be... Um, you need to be the leader. You need to make decisions for yourself. Uh, what should you do? What need? What should you do? What do you need to do? You need to be more confident. Okay. Don't. I feel. Don't over doubt your judgment. Don't over. Don't overthink and don't doubt yourself. I think you need to trust your judgment. Something about your judgment here. Yeah, something is talking about your judgment here. Trust your judgment with the king of wands. Don't let any other people telling you... <clears throat> don't let any other people telling you what to do. You need to listen to yourself. Also, you need to observe instead of... Um, if you don't know what to do, I feel it's good for you to observe a little bit more, to gather more information, to have a better understanding of the current situation. There is something that you need to overlook, like a supervising. Because somehow I feel this King of Wands is talking about you are watching things from above. You're not saying anything, but you can see everything. You can overlook everything and you can have all the information. You are having all the information. But once you make a decision, don't doubt yourself. Trust your own judgment. Trust your own decision. And also, confidence is really, really important for you right now. Being confident. Be confident, meaning first, you need to trust yourself. Second, do not be shy to stand in front of the world. Do not be shy to present yourself in front of the world. Okay, let's pull one more card to see what do you need to do now? Group four. What do you need to do now, group four? What do you need to do now, group four? Okay, yes, three of pentacles. So I feel you need to... Um, okay, so I don't know if you are thinking about making a major plan for yourself, like a really something really important for your life, like making life decisions. And what you need to do is you, you only need to plan this with yourself. Have a meeting with yourself. Uh, you don't have to ask other people's advice. You don't have to even tell other people. Just make the decisions with yourself. Have this meeting with yourself and plan things ahead. And you should trust your capability. You can definitely do this. There's something about um, Three of Pentacles. It's talking about your future. Very serious stuff. Okay, It's talking about your future, your career, your money. Be confident. I think... Um, first, you need to be confident to present yourself more, okay? If you got the opportunity, you should share more with the world of who you are, what you know, what you can offer. Share more with the world. Yes, so sharing is very important as well. So what you need to do, share, okay? So um, first, you need to be really confident to share more with the world. And second, I feel this is concerning with your future, um, I think you are putting, you are laying 
a path for yourself to build your future. You are actually already doing this, but somehow you need to know this is a step by step. So you cannot、um, jump. You cannot just、uh, take a shortcut. There's no shortcut. This is what you need to know.、Um, But also, I just feel you need to be more positive. This whole energy is very positive, and this is what you what what you should do. What you need to do. So I feel you should be more positive, Group Four, because your future looks really, really bright. You have a really bright and promising future here for yourself. You have King of Wands. You will step up and lead. You will be put into very important positions. So this is very promising. You need to be more optimistic, and at the same time, you need to trust yourself. You need to trust that you definitely have all the power, all the knowledge, all the wisdom you need to make life decisions for yourself, to plan things ahead for yourself, to make things happen for yourself. You don't need to rely on anyone. This is telling you to be、uh, trustworthy towards yourself. Okay, you're self-sufficient.、Um, and with the three of pentacles, I feel again this is talking about long term. So think of the things that you can do for long term. Group four. I feel right now is really the time for you to plan your life in the long run. Because this is talking about future. Also, this is talking about vision. So at the same time, I feel the cards are telling you do not compromise your vision for the future. If you have a great dream, if you have a big dream, do not ever doubt it,、uh, and to shrink it down into something more practical, into something more realistic. A dream is a dream. You need to have this vision. All you need to do is to have more practical steps to make this crazy dream come true. Do not compromise your dream, but you need to be realistic when you are marching towards your dream.、Um, and also, I don't know if you're artistic, but Group Four, the message is: if you're artistic, you if you have some sort of skills, you need to hone your skills every day, because Three of Pentacles is a daily energy. It's something you have to do it. Over and over again, like building a house, right? It's a daily energy. So I feel you need to embody something that is your talent, your skill. This is what you do.、Um, a very particular skill or talent you have. You need to embody this in your future, and you need to put it in your everyday life. This is what I'm getting here. You need to put something in your everyday life, especially when it comes to a certain skill or certain creation you want to do. Okay, to make a routine, to make it a routine, to make, to make it as like, yeah, like a daily routine, one part of your everyday. Um, this group gives me a lot of like creation, artistic vibe. So. I feel like practice makes perfect.、Um, whatever you want to do, you will be this king of wands. Okay, you will be in power. People will look up to you, and people probably will look up to you because of your work. Maybe you're doing something very creative. You will have a lot of people watching you. You will have a lot of people looking at you. But you need to、um, create. You need to practice. You need to repeat as well. But、uh, again, you definitely have the capacity to make everything come true. And also, when it comes to decision making, only consult with yourself. Okay,、um, you only need to listen to yourself and trust your intuition, trust your judgment. This is very important. Right. So this is your reading group four. I hope you like this reading, and thank you so much for watching.、Um, let me know what you think. Comment, like, share, subscribe. And if you need a personal reading, you can find the information down below in the description box. I'll see you next time.